What's up guys? In this video, we're gonna be hunting a fresh burn like this out on public land. Hayden, Ted, and I have slowly been finding some deer down here in Missouri, so let's get right to the action. Are you ready? Yep, I am ready. All right, let's go. Finally. Me and Ted got up at 4.30 this morning. Still trying to see if we can get a slick head down here in Missouri. The buck would be nice too. We saw close to 15 deer in this spot last night. We're going further to the back keep looking at on x and there's this little group of oak trees down at the end of this lane and a couple of them look like they're pretty big oaks and if they got a bunch of acorns under them like the ones we found yesterday we're just going to set right up there and try to be set up about 30 minutes before daylight hayden's going back to the same spot he was at last night where he saw those four bucks but he he's only got a couple hundred yard walk so he's still sleeping in the truck over there must be nice yeah <laughs> me, and ted, me and ted got a little further walk i did not want to wake up this morning at all I woke up and I like felt like sick almost, like nauseous. Oh no. Like man, I should probably go maybe, back to sleep. But then it's because you're sleeping up so high up there in the nosebleeds. Yeah. But then I thought, you know, you gotta dig deep if you're trying to put meat on the table, boy. Grab your bear adapt and go afield with a good attitude. Yeah. That's what Fred Bear says. Yeah. Got a coyote howling down here, maybe he's clearing the path for us. Wednesday morning. I'm back in the same tree I was at last night and saw those four bucks. It's been the coldest morning that we've had so far and I'm pretty confident there's quite a few deer in this spot. Obviously there's those four bucks that I saw last night. I'm sure there's bound to be a mature buck in here somewhere as well. Didn't find a lot of buck sign in this area last night but ran into a logger yesterday about midday and he told me that they just logged this place and there's a bunch of deer in here. Sure enough I came down and just saw a bunch of tracks on, on the logging trail. And there's acorns everywhere. One of the bucks I saw yesterday is right on the edge of what I want to, sh what I would shoot, but really hoping a doe comes by this morning because I could use some meat in the freezer. Orb and Ted are in a pretty similar location to where they were at last night. They saw a ton of does. So hopefully between the two of us, we can get an opportunity at something here this morning.
It was the worst, the worst bleed ever. I was just like, Bleh. I don't even know if she, I mean, she stopped to act like she, I don't know if she heard it or not, but everything happened. It was either coincidence that she just turned around right then and came over here. Either way, she's down. Boy. She's down, smashed her, boy. Right there, oh, 10 yards. Look at the knock. Her. Oh, man, that is awesome. I don't even think we're going to sit here any longer. We're just going to get out and go get her. It's going to get up 70 today, so we're going to go ahead and get out and get her taken care of and get her out of here. Get back to the truck and get some coffee. That'd be good. <laughs> hey, I'm in. I, I'm all good. I would love to just throw another arrow on and wait for a buck, but it's going to be real likely. No, nah, I mean, we saw 15 does in here last night. Hey, man, that burn right there. Reminds me of turkey season in this burn. Yeah, I know, but it smells. We rarely like hunt. We rarely hunt a burn for deer, but this thing is full of deer. I mean, we've seen all kinds of them the last couple of days. Whatever they're doing on this property, it's working. Like they're doing lots of cutting. You can see that this is like an oak savanna in here with grass and forbs mixed in. It's not just big closed canopy forest, and there's piles of deer. That's what we've seen on our farm too, back home. It's like the more we, the more cutting and burning that we do, the more overall deer we see on the farm every year. Yeah, like it's, deer per square mile. And when I talked to Adam and Matt about that, it's they said when you cut and burn, it increases the amount of food and forage for them year round like tenfold when yeah. you do both. So no surprise that we're seeing piles of deer in here. There's lots yeah. of hunters too, but well, we were focusing on just big hardwoods and stuff and then we saw this burn and came over to it and yeah we're like man maybe there'll them. be some deer out in that burn i don't know yeah freaking all over it <laughs> i mean we're like ants out here <laughs> <laughs> yeah well i only got one doe tag so there ain't no reason to sit here no longer she's dead over there i think she literally <laughs> fell like 40 yards away did you see her fall yeah i mean she was plowing she could barely even make it through that thick stuff perfect Oh, yeah. I'm freaking fired up about that. <laughs> the old bleh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. All right. Down she goes. We just look right like up another, there. Just look like another tree trunk up there. Yep. <laughs> Not YouTube worthy there. All right, let's go find her. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> she made it maybe 60 yards. She's a little charred. Perfect shot. She's a little charred in here in this burn. But <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> a little soot action for you. Yeah. You're sitting in those trees right there. Yeah, right up top. 
She might have made it 60 yards. She was done, done. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Throw down in the burn. <laughs> Throw down in the soot. In the soot, boy. Tell a check now. Hayden said, I guess I'll have to admit Ted isn't bad luck after all. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I didn't shoot a deer at all last year with my bow. Had four does come in. I knew if they came from that way, it was gonna to be tough to film them, so apologize for the poor footage, but. <sighs> That's two down. It just exactly what I thought they'd do, coming off that top, heading down at this bottom to bed. I set the stand up for the evening hunt, expecting them to come up from the bottom, so with them coming from behind, it was a little bit difficult, but I was able to swing around the tree and get drawn on them. Kind of worried about drawing with having limited cover up in this tree, but they didn't have a clue I was here. It's a little chilly out, but definitely shaking quite a bit. There's nothing like shooting a deer at the bow. I saw her fall right there. She only went 20 yards or so. <sighs> Still got a buck tag. Probably sit here for another 45 minutes or so. Wait till Ted and Warb are done cleaning their dough up and see if they want to come over this way. What a beautiful morning. Hello? What's up? What's up? Tell Warb to grab two bags of ice because we got to put two deer in coolers. Oh, you got one? <laughs> yeah, shot the dough. Hayden just shot the dough. Make sure you have enough ice for two deer. Yeah, boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll go, uh, we just got this thing cut up, so we're gonna start walking out here soon. All right, sounds good. You wanna come help me with this at some point? No, not really, but we will. <laughs> <laughs> Probably sit here for another 35, 40 minutes or so before I get down, so you got plenty of time. And I might just have him chop me off so then I can come help you and you can go to town or something. Yeah, that sounds good. All right. All right, see ya. Bye. Meat bag number two. Got this first one on war back. I shouldn't have put the one on my back before I took this one down. We're gonna sling this one. Just like that. We got more meat to go get too. Hayden just shot one <laughs> about 10 minutes ago.
Good eating, boy. Let's roll. Here you go, killer. Appreciate you. That's, that was my tree right there. That white oak in the middle gotcha. of that little patch. You already took your stuff down, huh? Yeah. They came from this way? Yeah, they came right down this lane we're walking in. Kind of right from the truck. Yeah. Yesterday those bucks came up this draw. Um, all of them came up this. And I'm assuming they were just feeding on acorns here and then going back to bed in that river bottom down below. Yep. What time did you shoot her? 8.20, something like that. Oh, that sounds the way that I thought. Yeah, first year I saw all day. But she ran 30, 40 yards that way and piled up. Well, let's go get her. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go get her meat on ice. Oh my god. Oh my god, I see her, Hayden. <laughs> okay, she went 20 yards. Congrats. Thank you. First year I've shot with a bow since 2021. Really? I didn't shoot one with a bow last year. Filmed a lot, get shot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you're on some cool hunt. Yeah. It is. This right here is where that um, nicer buck was yesterday. Gotcha. He's right up there in that kind of opening there. Mm hmm Came right up from the bottom? Yeah, I think he came right up the nose of that ridge. You gonna make a play on him tonight or what? I'm thinking. Either go further down closer to the bottom, try to get closer to where they're bedded, or maybe like, I think go scout that other ridge, like the one a couple ridges down that road. There's definitely bucks around here. I think we can get a little closer to the bedding, I'm sure there's a big one in here somewhere. I've seen four bucks, there's gotta be a bigger one around, you'd think. Yeah. What the heck? What'd you make? Made some uh, of Allie's turkey from last spring with some sweet corn from the garden. A little pesto seasoning. Just thoughtless chunks like Zach calls them. Just chunk it up, fry it up, put some seasoning on it, add some vegetables, good to go. Little pesto, looked like you put most I put the, the whole jar, jar I put the entire jar in there actually. Yeah. I like my seasonings. Yeah. I can thank my dad for that. Turkey on the heat, deer on the ice right now. It's been a good day. Hopefully Hayden can get out tonight and Ted can film him shoot the buck of his dreams. Jeez, you do have some gray in your beard. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, it's bad. It's all over in there. <laughs> yeah, it's getting pretty thick. It's just a part of me now though. First step, acceptance. <laughs> At least I'm that far. <laughs> anyway, toodaloo. Thanks for watching. Toodaloo, huh? Toodaloo. <laughs> <laughs> no. Toodaloo. Let's eat.